I'm going to be talking about and explaining the Points Plus program. So if you're new or if you're, you've been doing it for a while, I might be able to answer some things that you may not know about the program. So I'm going to start by saying the first thing that you need to do is decide how you want to do it. Do you want to go to Weight Watchers meetings? <clears throat> Excuse me. Or do you want to do it online? Now, um, you have to do one or the other because you need to find out what your points are for the day. Everyone, based on their weight, their height, their if they're female, male, they get a certain amount of points. And Weight Watchers has a some kind of algorithm that they figure out how many points you're supposed to get. So you will start with a certain amount of points. Now, I was over 300 pounds when I first started, I think. I started with like 48 points or something like that. So now I'm down to the lowest that you're supposed to go and that is 26. So first things first and that's you need to know how many points that you actually get and you need to have a way to track it. So you can use Weight Watchers online or you can, if you go to meetings, they have a little calculator there that you can buy and you can use that to log all your stuff in there. I don't really like the calculator. Um, I don't know, it's not my favorite thing. But they give you journals each week that you can write your things in, and I like journals as well. But the easiest thing that I find is the Weight Watchers online. And I'll just show you my, this is what it looks like. And I'm hoping that there's no glare here. And there is. So as you can see, there's 26 points there, and you see the weekly allowance is 35. So you get 49 points per week, but I'll talk about that in a second. So the, the first thing that you need to do is invest in a few little things. You do not need much to start this program. Um, you just need to know what your points are and a way to track them. So I would invest in first some measuring cups because you're, you're going to need those. You have to be able to measure your stuff. And measuring spoons. They're so cheap. You can get them anywhere. The dollar store even has them. And a good scale that you can measure your food on. Especially like when you get to the bottom of a bag of chips and there's just crumbs and you can't really count 14 out or whatever it is. This comes in handy because you can weigh them and then you'll know, you know, how much you're actually eating. I have had this scale for years. It is awesome. It tracks ounces, kilograms, grams, whatever. Counts everything. So um, I will put a link on my blog for this in case you want to check this scale out. It's not expensive or anything like that. And then the other thing you need to invest in is a good home scale, which I also um, have posted on my blog. Now, now that you know your points for the day, imagine you get 26, um, then there's also, there's a free food list. So you get 26 points a day, plus you get your free foods. Now, Weight Watchers actually gives you a list of the free foods that you can have. And free means that you can have as much as you want of them because they count as zero points. So, for example, acorn squash, apples, apricots, asparagus, all your fruits and veggies, um, hot sauce. Hot sauce is like five calories. So, um, grapes, grapefruit. Jalapeno peppers, kiwi fruit, all those fruits, vegetables, mustard, ketchup, um, and let's see what else would be interesting. Steak sauce, strawberries, string beans, spinach, tangerines, tomatoes. So all those things are free foods. They are zero points. And um, so now with that being said, you get your say, let's imagine, your 26 points for the day. And then you can have anything on this list. And I'll also post this list on my blog as well so you can refer to it. 
Now, so you can have your 26 and then you can have foods off of here that'll count as zero points and they help to fill you up. Now, Weight Watchers says, you know, all these fruits and stuff on here. Well, a lot of you have said bananas, you know, can you really have five bananas a day? According to them, what they say is that you want to, they want to steer you towards eating healthier. So the reason why they give you the zero point foods is because if you're in a feeding frenzy, which I think we all have been there, then you can go to your fruits and have those. Now, I personally think that, um, you know, one banana a day is sufficient. Um, and I personally never go over three um, fruits a day. Vegetables is a different story. I have been eating vegetables for ever. Um, I mean, tons of vegetables forever. <clears throat> On my whole weight loss journey, I would eat a bag of the steam fresh veggies, the entire bag of broccoli, and I still lose weight. I have never ever counted a vegetable. Now, I'm only talking about free vegetables. Um, corn and peas and potatoes. They're all vegetables, but they are not a free food and they do not count as zero points. You must count them. Or you will get to the scale and wonder why you did not lose weight. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is their healthy guidelines. And the reason why I'm looking down is because I had to put some of the stuff on paper so that I could remember it because it's a lot of information. So the healthy guidelines that they ask you to do is five servings a day of fruits and vegetables. So even though they're giving you all those free ones, they're suggesting that you have five a day. They ask that you have whole, green, whole grains. Um, they ask that you have two servings of milk, low fat or fat free, and two teaspoons of healthy oils. Now, the easiest way to do that is to make a salad and throw that on there or grill some veggies and um, just use a table or teaspoon of um, extra virgin olive oil or something like that. <clears throat> then they want you to have one or two servings of lean protein and limit your alcohol intake and have at least six to eight ounces of water. Now, I just drink the uh, three, bo three 16 ounce bottles of water a day. And they also suggest that you take a multivitamin. I love my multivitamins. Please check them out on my blog. They're not that expensive at all and they have so many different um, things in them that a regular vitamin doesn't. They even have probiotics which, which is really good for your stomach and digestion and things like that. So check those out. And <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about was your weekly allowance points. So you get 49 extra points above and beyond your daily points for the day. So the 49 points are yours to enjoy however you like. Now, I'll just tell you what they say about the 49 point allowance. It says, <clears throat> simply you get an extra 49 points per week to give you some flexibility with the Points Plus program. You can enjoy the foods that you love. You don't have to use them, but we hope you will. It says you can still lose weight even if you use them all. Now, my personal take on that, now I've lost 146 pounds so far. Um, I use them when I need them. You're not gonna lose as much weight if you use all of them. You're just not. You might lose like an ounce or something like that, but you're not gonna lose, you know, they say you still lose, but some people don't. It depends on everyone, you know, how your body's made up, your metabolism, if you exercise, it depends on so many things. So I personally use them when I need them. If I'm going out to dinner and I need a few extra points, if I'm, you know, if I'm really having a tough day and I just want one extra snack, I'll use them then. If I'm having a special celebration or something, then maybe I'll use, you know, 15 or whatever of them then. 
Um, I don't take them day by day and say, okay, I'm going to have seven a day and seven a day and eight a day or whatever. I don't do that. I just have them when I absolutely need them. I try to stick to my points and that's it. And the fruits and the vegetables and the free, the zero point items. Um, and I think that's the best way. I average about a pound a week. So sometimes two, sometimes a little less, but, and that's, um, how, that's how I do it. If I'm really in need of the 49 point allowance, I will use it. And of course that you're not going to, of course you're not going to lose the same amount of weight that you would if you didn't have them because you're just eating more calories, but they are awesome. And I'm so happy that they put them into the program because there are times when you really, really need those extra points and you just got to have something else. And, and so instead of feeling like, oh my gosh, I blew it. I went five points over. You don't have to worry about that because you have this buffer and you say, oh, I'll use my weekly allowance and it's okay. And I can still lose weight. So that is my spiel on that. Um, so, and then I had just a few questions from subscribers and I might have answered them already. Um, I hate eating salads in the winter. What are your favorite ways to fix veggies in the winter? In the winter, I love butternut squash. I did a video on how to make butternut squash. It's filling. It's delicious. You can make it into a dessert. You can make it as a side. You can mix it into stuff, whatever you want to do. Love butternut squash. I just roast it in the oven. So check that video out if you want to know what I think is the easiest way to make it. Now, some people cook it in the microwave. I don't find that it turns out as, I don't know, the consistency doesn't seem to turn out the same, but um, let's see. Um, oh, someone had asked, I get the five fruit veggie thing, but isn't anything over that you start counting points? No. Uh, according to Weight Watchers, you, do, you never count the points for them. So if you have you know, five fruits, then what's going to happen is, is that you're going to get on the scale and you're going to find out if that's not working for you. So if you're eating five fruits a day and you get on the scale and you're not losing weight, you're going to say, okay, let me cut out some of that fruit. Because really, you know, especially if you eat five bananas, that's like 500 calories, a little more than 500 calories. So, um, you know, you just kind of have to be realistic about that. So that is my thing on that. So what else did I want to show you? Okay. The other question was about fruit, canned fruit like this. Well, these are in little packages, but so what it says is that if they are in their own juice, these are little tangerines. I, by the way, I love these. These are from Dole. They're mandarin oranges. Um, According to them, if you drain this, if it's only in its own juice and water, if you drain this, then it's free. So definitely count it as a fruit, even though they're free items, log them into your, whatever you're doing, your journal, your, your Weight Watchers online app, however you're doing it, log, 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 track each thing that you eat so that you know if you get on the scale and you're not losing weight, then you know why. Because you say, oh, maybe I ate too many fruits. But again, I can tell you as far as the vegetables, and I'm only talking the free vegetables, the broccoli, the asparagus, the lettuce, tomatoes, all those items I have eaten to my heart's content and I have still lost weight. So that is my, uh, my whole thing on the program. I hope that this is helpful to you. Please leave comments below, below and I will do a follow-up video or I'll respond below and answer any questions that you might have. But it's really as simple as that. You just need a few things and you need to know your points for the day and you need to track, track, track. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.